Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video today. I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome travel trailer that is bath, bunk beds, bath and a half, and a kitchen island. This is a 2021 Keystone Bullet model 330BHS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Bullet and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Wells RV Reviews Towables. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about every travel trailer, fifth wheel and toy hauler that we review. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at a travel trailer that we haven't seen on the show, The Bullet, but more importantly, you guys heard that right. Bunk beds, bath and a half, and a kitchen island. Very unique and awesome. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey, Will. Hey, guys. How's it going? It's going good. I'm excited to take a look at this. I haven't even been on the inside yet. Um, but yeah, like Matt said, that's so exciting to have all of those in one. The Keystone Bullet also is sister product to the Passport, right? Yes, cool. but I don't think the Passport makes a floor plan oh, like this. Oh, okay. I might be wrong. Cool. And, and where are we today? So we are at RV1 of Charlotte, North Carolina. Yes, phone number 704-743-5280. Yes, huge thank you to RV1 of Charlotte for letting us come and record and everything. We really appreciate it. Yes. And they have an awesome service department. They awesome do. Yeah. Management and everything. Very, it was very warm coming here. It was, yes. Model is 330BHS. The actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 38 feet long. Well, the dry weight? 7,278 pounds. Perfect. And we don't know the hitch weight, but we'll have it right on the screen right there for everybody to see. This is a huge, long travel trailer. It is, guys. yeah. Listen, don't like a lot of people might look at the weight and say, I can tow it with my SUV. Right. Don't do it. You need to tow this with a pickup truck um because it's long right you have a nice power tongue jack here propane tanks go here batteries go there and everything now again this does have a fiberglass front cap and it looks very similar to the keystone passport yes it's the bullet their sister product um uh, fiberglass sides aluminum framing with that three-year structural warranty coming on down the side here we do have nice storage underneath wow a lot of storage wow yeah very wide yeah very wide storage Electric lipper component I stabilizer love jacks. Love that. Love lipper. You gotta lift that. Oh, interesting. Okay, yeah. that's a nice feature to make sure it doesn't come down and hit you. Right. Um, and then coming on down the side here, we do have a nice power awning with LED lights. And again, the lipper component solid steps. We love these as well. Yes. They're solid. They're they're steps. They're <laughs> that's what they call solid, solid steps. steps. <laughs> right. But still, it's really nice, especially if you're a little heavier like us to walk in and out and then it does have the thermal package with a 30k btu furnace which means it has the heated and closed underbelly it's good for three or four seasons depending on where you are in the world right and then there is a slide out here because it does have the kitchen island right and then we do have a place to mount a tv on the outside if you want that and then look at these tires will do the rainier st tires st 225-75 r15 very nice and then right here, we do have your black tank flush, okay? And then this is a door to that second bathroom. Nice. Um, it's the crappy steps. We don't mind these right. because they gave you the solid steps up front. Yep. And then check this out. I didn't even mention oh, this. Oh, wow. Outside kitchen too. Yes, sir. Like just to fit all this, you know, like this is a little bit of a crummier outside kitchen compared to right, some. Right. But still to fit all of this into one is freaking amazing. With everything else that it already has. Exactly. Suburban cooktop, hot hot point. You know what I'm saying? Very, very nice. I actually like that feature a lot. Do you? Yeah. Coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier, water heater right there, a little spray port and it is prepped for a backup camera. Also, we do got a ladder to get up on the roof. Will, we're going up there and take a look. All right. Here we go now. Be careful. Yep, here we go. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece TPO roof. Right up there, you can see that it is prepped for solar. Your wine guard 360 antenna right there. And then it does have one AC unit on the roof. 
Here we go now. Last step. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen taking this fat ass up on the roof? Showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up. Okay, good. 50 amp service. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> right, yeah, no, big trail like this. So that means there is one AC unit, but it's prepped for two AC right. units. Right, and I think we got the black tank right here. Thank you, Or Bill. one of the black tanks, probably. Yes, sir. There's probably two. Yes. Double the tanks, double the stank. Oh, yes. <laughs> that's funny. Not Second in black. the best of positions, but. Right. But you know, the, the whole thing's practically a slide out. It is, yeah. All right, here's your outdoor shower, fresh tank, black tank flush again, um, city water connection. Very, very nice. And the other side of that storage. Yes, sir. Well, well, the outside of this bullet looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. There's some people watching. <laughs> No skipping. No skipping while they're off. All right, we will start up front here. You got the master bedroom. Then in the middle, or right next to that, is the first bathroom. And then coming down, you have the dinette, the living okay. area, mm -hmm. and the kitchen with that. A nice big island. Perfect, perfect. And then all the way in the back, you have that nice bunk room with the half bath in here. Yes, sir. Well, we're going to start back here. Okay, in this bunk room? Yes. Cool. So back here in the bunk room, I don't even know where to begin, okay? So it is a bunk room. There is a door, but it's also the double over double bunk. Right. Very nice feature. Good size ladder right there. Right here, we have some decent storage. Very nice. Really not that bad. Um, if you come on in, and okay. we close this door? That's By the way, y'all, we have no AC. Yeah. It's like 78 degrees right now. Right. It's very nice. And then more storage right there. Cool. Let me get this door back open. Oh, oh do you want to do this? Yes. You want to come around? Yep. It's just a tight bunk room. Yeah, so that door leads into the bunk room, not the bathroom, I guess. Oh, yeah, good point. Which is fine. Yeah, same thing. Nice little medicine cabinet. Nice little sink action. Oh. Porcelain. It looks it like it's in a good position too. It really is. Like my knee might might touch the door a little bit when it's closed. But again, this is the half bathroom in the kids. Right. I'm giving it to them. Well, this is a prime poop position. Bing! Nice. Very nice. I was not expecting that. Right. I love that. Okay. And then coming out here into the living room area, we do have a little pantry space right here. Cool. For whatever you want to use it for. Yeah. Okay. Entertainment center right here. We're like going around in circles. We are, yeah. Insignia TV, Furion sound system. Okay. Nice storage underneath there. And what's real nice is that the entertainment center's kind of across it's not across but diagonally well and this is on a swivel so right but like i'm looking head on i'm not right your head isn't turning sideways right so, right so that is what i like about it very nice it's the thomas Paine collection i can cool. feel it i can the way it looks you have your windows right there a little van of white lights there there's even a usb right there cool um cup it... holders and then there's even like a remote holder right here no recline, right? No recline. No, sir. No, sir. Uh, this actually is a trifold. Okay. And it does come out to make a bed. And then right over here, Will, is the dinette. Dinette does drop down to make a bed. We do got storage underneath there and here. Okay. And let me set this dinette. You know, it's one of those things. I'll tell you guys later. Um, just a normal size dinette. Yes. For for an unnormal size travel trailer. Okay. That that's how I'm gonna say it. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. MSRP on this travel trailer here is forty-seven thousand four hundred and sixty-three dollars. Well, MSRP. 
Sale price, uh, RV1 is going to give you a fantastic sale price. And if you're interested in this unit, make sure you call the RV1 of Charlotte, North Kakalaki, <laughs> and that is 704-743-5280. Give them a call, let them know you saw this bullet on Matt's RV Reviews Towables, or Matt's RV Reviews, and the general manager is gonna give you guys a phenomenal price. Yes. The sales manager is gonna give you a phenomenal price. They're, they're gonna take really good care of you. Of course. Will, let's continue the video. All right, sounds good. And before we do, look at that headspace. Yeah, it's got that radius ceiling, mm, so very, very nice. nice. Yes. Okay, we'll start right here with the fridge. We do have the GE compressor fridge. Okay. Which I love. All right there. Very nice. You have a Furion microwave. Just a small one right there. Okay, okay. You do have a nice window on your campsite here. I can get it open. And it does, the window does open as well. So let Very us nice. nice fresh air. They're not solid surface countertops. No problem on this. Yeah. Try to keep it as light as possible for how big it is. Right. Storage up top there. And what are you doing right there? Oh, <laughs> we're recording for our vlog, Will and Jen. Will and Jen's vlog, yes, yes. Sir. A um, nice uh, range hood here. Hood range. Uh, you do have a good backsplash right there. And then a nice three burner Furion cooktop here with the blue lights. Ooh. And nice the oven. Solid. Yes, Ooh, sir. And I forgot this storage. Yep, it's all good. All right, there. Pretty good storage, actually. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, here on this island, nice big island. Mm -hmm. You got a regular faucet here. You do have a tower of power. Hey, that's a nice tower of power right there. There it is. Um, Nice insert here for your big single bowl sink right yes, sir. there. Yes, sir. Right over here, you got a bunch of drawers. Okay, okay. And Very then nice. under the sink, you got some storage. Mm -hmm. Okay. And a little more right next to the sink. Very, very nice. Well, yeah, I think that's it. I mean, right? a kitchen island in a bunkhouse motorhome. That's home, crazy. That's unique. Yeah. You can shut off your GoPro now. Okay. Save, save on the battery and the memory. Yeah. We'll link Will and Jen's channel down below. And I can't cool. believe how much head height's in here. I know, it's so, crazy. It's now time for the shower test. Okay. Uh-uh. Radius, Radius shower. Womp, womp. If there's antifreeze in there, don't, don't hop okay. in. There's uh, oh. just a little bit, but nah, it's okay. Yeah. okay. You don't want to mess it up for a radius shower. Yeah. New rule, guys. If there's, like a lot of times, these things will have antifreeze on the floor. If it's a radius shower and there's antifreeze on the floor, we're not going to walk in. because right. Because they're, radius showers don't pass the they shower don't, test. automatically. So the ceiling height is good, but of course it's a radius shower, so it still fails. Still fails. Sorry, radius shower company. <laughs> uh, nice little medicine cabinet, little sink there. Holy smokes. Gonna get the double pass, huh? Four sled. I mean, Will. This is also a prime pooping position. Bing! Very nice. That's, That's awesome. insane. And then there is two doorways to the bathroom. Yes. Or to the bedroom. Okay, and then we do got storage all the way around. Same thing over here. Yes, sir. Couple drawers. Right there, some storage up top. And also look how they have like these nooks back there. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, good place to put a CPAP machine right and everything. Very, right very there. nice. Queen size bed. Right oh, here man. you do have a little laundry chute as well. I, I love laundry chute. I do too. I'll place them out the TV there. Cool. And then here. This is a queen bed, right? Yep. Just a little bit of storage. Nice. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. That's the bullet. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. Well, what do we do first? Three things we love. Okay. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Three things we love about it. Well, I'm going to go first. Okay. We're in a bunkhouse motorhome and it has a kitchen island. Right. Fantastic. Phenomenal. Very awesome feature. I absolutely love that. Yep. That's number one. Okay. Will, number two. All right, kind of piggybacking off of you, but we're in a bunkhouse motorhome with an island and a bath and a half. Yes. Did we say bunkhouse motorhome? We did. I think we both said that. No, you said motorhome. I said travel trailer. Oh, okay. Bunkhouse Maybe I said motorhome. Trailer. Yeah. But still, bath and a half. Yes. That That's is crazy. Awesome. Another feature that I absolutely love. And then, Will, yeah. I'm going to make number three. The ceiling height? Mm. 
Why don't you combo it? Okay. Ceiling height and the outside kitchen. Perfect. Thank there you, Will. You Thank you. Because, I mean, this is fantastic this is ceiling height in here. ceiling height. Um, and yeah, that outside kitchen is very awesome. It is. Great. And we did this strategically, okay? You ready for this? Yeah. Will, I'm about to throw a curveball. Okay. That's three things we love about it. Now, it's time for three things we dislike about this travel trailer. You ready for me to go first? Yeah. I hate how it has bath and a half, kitchen island, bunkhouse, <laughs> travel trailer, and an outside kitchen. Do you? Because it's too big. What you talking about, Matt? 100% will. They've done, this, this is what everybody wants, but as you can tell, it's just not that practical. Like that bedroom's tight, that right. bathroom's tight, that walkway's tight, this kitchen, you know what I'm saying? It's it's like it's a lot to squeeze into. Exactly. You know however long this is. Exactly. So that's just dislike number one. Will number two? Okay. Um, this might be kind of like a little personal pet peeve, but all these I love the um, kitchen cabinets and stuff, right? Okay. And they did the kit all that here, here, and here, and then all of a sudden they just decided they're gonna change the back and side of this island to be brown. Ah, uh, yes. It's just weird. Like, why keep do you it white? Continue the or yeah. make it all brown. Right. Yeah. But don't no. cut like halfway in the middle of one cabinet. Right. Especially, you know, yeah. like that's not two tone. I 100% get it. That's number two, and then well. Yeah. I feel like uh, Randy Johnson today throwing do curve, you? throwing <laughs> curveballs. Okay. I don't like this dinette at all. Okay. This is a big travel trailer, guys. This is made to host a lot of people. Right. Two people are gonna sit this dinette, right. maybe three, maybe four if y'all are skinny. You know what I would have rather seen? Like the long sofa. Oh yeah, and then you know, the little tables you can just little table, pop yeah. up if you need. Dude, listen. This trailer sleeps eight to 10 people. You are not all eaten inside. Right. You're just not eating inside. It's too many people. It's too hot. It's right. too much breath in one area. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, just make it all one long sofa. Yep, I agree. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. That's the bullet. Other than that, it's a fantastic travel trailer. Of course. Big shout out to RV1 of North Carolina, 704-743-5280. Thank you so much for your hospitality. Are we in the South? I guess. Yeah, yeah. for your Southern hospitality, right? Yeah. Um, everybody here has been super nice. They have been. Accommodating to us, and we really do appreciate that. Yeah. So big shout out to them. We have a link to their website down below. Also, uh, their contact info down below. Cool. Well, is there anything you want to say? All right, guys. So the uh, Keystone Bullet and Passport are really great uh, travel trailers. You know, they're not entry level, but kind of like one step up and at a great price point in my opinion. Not only that, they're in the, what I, what we would call the ultra light category. Yes. Truly ultra light to get 38 feet with all these slide outs yeah. at 7,200 pounds is awesome. It's, it's great, yep. So um, I think a lot of you guys will like it. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like and three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Big shout out again to all our sponsors that you yes, saw in the beginning so of the much. show. My Waggle, RV Sharing, CampgroundViews.com. Right. We have special promotions to all their products down below. Exactly. Without them, we wouldn't be able to be independent. So thank you. Yes, thank you so much. Thanks so much for watching and Will, we'll, we'll see you next time.